Hey guys, it's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you are enjoying my Lucifer content, please remember to like the videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon that's next to it because that alerts you when a new video has been posted. Also check out the description below because I put out all the playlists to my Lucifer reactions so you can all find it in one place. And I need you guys to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, by doing all this, this lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content. Therefore, they'll push it out more. So, the shout out for today goes to uh, Patricia. Thank you so much for always commenting on my videos. Another loyal commenter. Thank you so much for taking time to um, comment on my last episode. So last episode was a doozy. Last episode was a doozy. And let me just clarify something. I knew, I know for a fact Maze cannot be Lucifer. Logically, I know that. When I say Maze beat his ass, what I mean is put him in his place. I know she can't. If Lucifer really was going all out, yes, I know he could destroy her easily. I'm not, I, yeah. I'm just saying, knock some sense into Lucifer. Because everyone likes to baby Lucifer. A spoon feed him things. Maze beat him up. Now y'all like y'all brought up the fact that Maze is similar to Lucifer. Here's the thing. Maze had one instance where she tried to manipulate Lucifer. And to me that came out of homesickness. And that came out for the fact that she was jealous because one Lucifer fit easily among humans was easy was found it easy to interact with humans where she didn't know how to interact with humans and that's where dr linda came in but once dr linda came in gave her a a, a, a platform gave her uh, a bit purpose outside lucifer may strive even when but here's the thing maze has always had lucifer always looked out for lucifer even when mom came and tried to uh persuade maze to tell lucifer about chloe as soon as may saw how happy lucifer is the first thing she did was got up and try to push him outside the door so there's a huge difference between how lucifer treats maze and how may treats lucifer yes she had a slip up that was eight eons ago. That was season one. Lucifer's always had slip ups. So that's a huge. Y'all were trying to make like, oh, I was being a little harsh with Lucifer. No. Maze had one mistake and she paid the price and she did the work. Lucifer had multiples and he's never really paid the price. So I, I just wanted to put that out there. So last episode, uh, it was sympathy for the goddess which she got none for me so she got stabbed again so now my girl is is dying even faster <laughs> oh why laugh there she's dying even faster um we found out yes yeah, so i acknowledge the fact that god is a manipulator himself he put it on writing i don't care if it was ancient language that no one could read but a middle deal he put it in writing his favorite son holds the key and his favorite son happens to mean a middle deal. Even and and of course, a middle deal and Lucifer had their spats as they usually do, being the the oldest and the second oldest. They've always been on each other's throats, and it's now there's even more reason because now Lucifer has confirmation that he that a middle deal is his son. I don't know how a middle deal is gonna take that. Because Emil did always thought Lucifer was a favorite simply because of the things he got away with. And Lucifer already always thought that Emil did was a favorite son because of uh, what the things God would ask Emil did to do. So, I don't know how mom is going to survive because she's now, I guess, spraying grace everywhere. 
Um, I don't know how Lucifer and Middle Deal relationship is going to thrive. Um, I don't know if L- Lucifer and May's relationship has amended. I don't think it has. I, I think um, Maze will always keep in the back of her mind that she's a pawn to Lucifer. I think that relationship has is, is is going to go a very different way than how it used to be. And then I don't know what Maze did to that doctor that was going after Dr. Linda. So many things need to be answered and I know this is the season finale of season two so i don't know what to expect the craziness to expect in this season finale but i'm excited so we're going on into episode 18 of season two the season finale and it's called the good the bad and the crispy i, I want to know how lucifer gonna say this because <laughs> i know it's the good the bad and the ugly but they said crispy but that means said uh, let's jump into this reaction Oh, we picking up right, right after. My girl got her heels in this man, man. Oh, that's what she doing. I'm trying to figure out. Jesus Christ. Hello? Yes, Charlotte Richards. I need a favor. Would you look at that, Lucy? It really is the final piece. Believable. Oh, oh God. It. It's classic, Dad. <laughs> Uh-oh. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Uh-oh. That isn't the biggest celestial bird Dad's ever flipped. What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we this go. This means that I'm the favorite son. Uh, no. It means that once again, Dad is manipulating us six ways to Sunday. What's new? Uh-oh. Yes, we have it, yeah? Here we go. Sorry. Now here's where the bullshit's gonna start. Well, hand it over, brother. The sword's not gonna ignite itself. Oh, just give it to me. Yeah. Give it to Y'all me. are too childish. Y'all are too old. But I'm the favorite. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going with? Of course. <laughs> that one. Right. Y'all are too childish. Don't hurt you. Remember, you're not the angel you once were. Wow. Oh, no, Lucy, you're right. I'm not. I didn't mean to make you all broody again. No, it's okay. I just need a little time to process what it all means. Fine. I suppose we're in no real rush. Yeah. Kind of. Well, your mom's going to make it. Tea on the DVR if you need a good weep and a pint of haagen in the freezer if that helps. haagen Miz. Oh. God. Goddess. But whatever, I need medical attention. Then go to a hospital. This isn't exactly a human injury. Yeah, you don't kill Dr. Linda, you hear me? Or rather what I am. I am a doctor, but patching people up isn't my thing. (gasps) Oh, Dr. Linda, you really short or she really tall? Now, I should warn you, you might have to. Yeah, yeah, swear to God, if you kill Dr. Linda, I'm gonna kill you. What? Was it Lucifer? I, I mean, <laughs> not on purpose. Okay, duct tape. Trust me. This is amazing. <laughs> we really duct tape in the room. All right, then. You have experience with emotionally fragile men, don't you? I'm just self-aware today. No, I meant Dan. Anyway, tell me, how do you stop them from overthinking everything? <sighs> Who's overthinking? A man deal. You should be happy he's dad's favorite. Wait, your dad didn't actually tell you guys that, did he? Oh, yeah. So many Sumerian words, yes. You know, the more he's I an hear asshole. about your dad, the more I understand why you're, you know, you. How do you dumb? Weird one, too, and not just because of the obvious buck, naked, deep fried head thing, but someone also shaved this poor guy's entire body. Hmm. Well, maybe our poor killer's just kitophobic. Fear of hair. Oh! Always fun when they turn up in hell. Lots of wigs involved. <laughs> what are you sniffing? Bath and bleach. So whoever dumped him's a pro. If anyone can find something to you. Oh, that is so sweet. Don't hug me in a crime yes, scene, Ella. You do. I've got some personal business I need to tend to. Don't 
Doctor. Hi, Lucifer. Have you seen a Menadil? Nope. Haven't seen that family member. No. Oh, can you stop being weird. And just let me in. Oh Lord. Oh. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, girl stuff. <laughs> Naked girl stuff. Doctor Linda, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, he's out of hole. All right. Out with it, mother. No, because he's going to kill somebody. That spoiled brat, Chet Louise, stabbed me, and now I'm bleeding light. It's, it's no big deal. What? Mum, if your powers are returning to this degree, then your human body won't be able to contain it. You're, you're burst. Mum, Amenadiel has the missing piece of the sword. You're, you're kidding. Son, why didn't you say something? This girl is so bipolar. Finally ignited and cut through the gates of heaven. Yes. Yes, but for now, I need to find a Menadil, and you need to stay away from humans. You're a ticking bomb. Uh, um, actually, speaking of that, I may burnt one already. already harmed someone. Oh no. Yep. Oh, no, put no, it no, together. I came from a crime scene. The man with the burned head. Please tell me that isn't Chet. It's Chet. Is on that case. Well, not to worry. I had a pro clean up the mess. You don't understand. The detective is good. Annoyingly good. Well, then we just need to find a Menadiel, don't we? Yes. And get the piece. Because if we don't get you back to heaven before the detective gets to you, then she is quite literally toast. Yup. Oh, damn, Lucifer. Did you used to put a banana peel too? What? Who's she playing don't with? Invited kids fierce. <laughs> oh, maze. Me was. So I left mum in the wine cellar at Lux, and that's the situation. Ouch. Baby. I need the best bounty hunter out there. Ah. I can deal with the detective, but I need you to find a deal. Then we can get the pendant, assemble the sword before mum spews light everywhere. You don't have to speak in code. I can handle adult stuff. So what if your mother explodes? Why should I care? Because many, many humans could get hurt. Yeah, and? Oh, nice try, Maze. But I happen to know there's a few that you care about. <laughs> gotcha. Fine. Pay me my standard fee. No freebies. Absolutely. Oh, love me a lolly. Sorry. Listen to him get Oh, out. damn! <laughs> and he came back as your brother, Chet. I'm sorry. I know you were the one who put my mother in prison. I also know you were after Chet, so I know what you think of my family. But I loved my brother. Look, I'm going to work this case as carefully and fairly as I would any other case. I promise you. His clock and gas, um, glasses. Oh, oopsie daisy. There goes that clue. Clutzy me. Oh, don't worry, buddy. That's why I always make a backup. Oh, good. <laughs> Hope it leads us straight to Chet's killer. Oh, <laughs> no, that's from another crime scene. Please tell me you have something. No, no, nothing. It's so frustrating. Well, there is one thing I'm waiting on. But I thought you just said we had Nada. Well, so the only thing we know for sure is that someone had to drive there. It's yep. spot. So the tech team is checking the vicinity for cameras, but it's such a remote place, so. Sadly, the only witness to this one is my dear old dad. <laughs> oh, right, yes. Your dad is always watching. I'm saying that. <laughs> you should have shut your mouth. Satellite <laughs> imaging about. takes sporadic photos of, well, everything, so. So there may be footage of the killer going to or from the warehouse. Exactly. Thank you, Lucifer. You're so welcome. <laughs> me. God chose me. I'm the favorite son. I lost faith in him. I can see that now. That you feel miserably. And if so, I failed. How was your pork chop? Okay, that's great. We'll cut right there. Hey, can I uh, have the lights, please? So, uh, good job. But there are a few subjects that we try to avoid. You know, religion. religion. Mama takes anything too polarizing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally understand. I got this. Perfect. He's going to talk about God again. Oh, man. I think she's going into labor. <laughs> How can I help when I'm supposed to kill my own father? Jesus Christ. And cut. It's a little dark, buddy. Here, just try to have fun with it. But I thought you told me this helped you work through difficult personal matters. I did. Go to therapy. Hey, 
LAPD got a hit that it was parked in the lot across the street. Well, I'm telling you, we're wasting time. Come on, how many vans have dandelions on the well, side? Not dandelions, they're jellyfish. What? Jellyfish? Right, yes, but look, I'm simply saying that we should be focusing on more pressing criminal issues. Such as? Well, I'm glad you asked, actually. The death of Celeste McDougal. Yeah, I got it, I got it. LAPD, don't move! Oh, Jesus! I still think we're wasting our time. Definitely rethinking the lasagna I had for lunch. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is not what it looks like. I know this looks bad, I did but we can... Students! I'm Ava. This is my sister Kathleen. Hi, how you doing? Friendliest serial killers ever. Oh, that's hilarious. We're not killers. <laughs> <laughs> no, we run Dandelion Cleaners. Line's our last name. Get it? We take care of crime scenes. Okay, yeah. Removals, mm -hmm. All the icky stuff. But totally legit. Well, perfectly good explanation. I knew it. Shall we, Detective? Wait, wait, wait. Why was your van outside of an abandoned warehouse in Eagle Rock at 3 a.m. last night? I'm pretty sure you're mistaken. We were nowhere near that area. Well... Uh-uh. Uh, no. Eagle Rock. Do not tell me you went to see Brad again. I thought you were done with that job. I was, till I ran into him at Jamba Juice. Understand I completely. I mean, what's more intoxicating than a mango a go go <laughs> mango go a go sorted, uh, We'll leave you here with Soupy and we'll be on our way. Soupy, oh! Hold on. Why are you trying to rush our investigation? Why are you still hiding things from me after all we've been through? You know, I don't lie, Detective. But you also don't tell the whole truth. True. But I can't explain because you wouldn't understand. Not if you don't talk to me. No, you just don't Never listen. Mind. I thought we were past this. Going backwards, Lucifer, is not good. This is the weirdest friendship ever. You're a good man, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. We'll get the hang of it. It just takes practice. And that hug. You guys doing it? Wow, babe. I'm bounty hunting you, thanks to Lucifer. Time to assemble the sword and then a deal. I don't know that I want to, Maze. The father entrusted me with the final piece. That changes things. This Think about it. Flip flopper. All of my actions, all of my feelings. See, I thought I had fallen and I Oh my god. She tased them. I don't get paid by the hour. Mm mm. You don't. Vegas and me. Not pretty. Yeah, uh -uh. I'm not going either. But Kathleen Lyons' ex, Brad, did. And according to his wobble page, he's been partying there all weekend. Oh, well, that blows up Kathleen's reason for being in Eagle Rock at 3 a.m. You think our two sweet, legit cleaners are up to something not so legit? Yeah. <laughs> if she really tastes this, this ma- Hello, brother. Angel. I notice you've changed your look. Where's your pretty necklace? Listen, Amenadiel, I need the final piece. Right. So you and Mom can slice through the gates of heaven and destroy Father. Oh, Amenadiel, yeah. you annoy me. I know. Right. I've been thinking about this deeply. No, you flip-flop. I've things the wrong way. Huh? That necklace was a gift. Father doesn't always make things clear because he wants us to form our own beliefs. And I strongly believe that I am to guard that piece. Now, I may have lost my way. But that doesn't mean that I can't rectify things now. It's Fine. like whoever gives him the love, he jumps. I planned on destroying Dad. I'd say you were full of it. Yes, I want to assemble the sword. Yes, I want to cut through the gates, blah, blah. But then I was just going to kick Mum into heaven and slam the gates behind her. Let the two lovebirds torture each other for eternity. And that's better. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Mom is not going anywhere. Well, I am afraid that we do not have a choice, brother. Mum's powers are returning, and it won't be long before we can't contain them. I mean, she's already killed one person, and now the detective is on a... The detective is on her case. So please, no discussion. Mum has to go. She already has. Huh? Your mother's gone. Oh, lad. She won't something or other. What's she at the time? To go change. I wasn't expecting to see you or your <laughs> deadly light back so soon. When you first saw my wound, you asked if Lucifer had done it. What did you mean by that? I meant nothing by it. You know, just blah. Came out. Dr. Right? Linda. There was a lot. I'm going to need you to learn to lie as a doctor. I don't think so. I would have simply said, I think the only person I know that could kill you is a celestial person. So, I thought it was Lucifer. I'm running out of time. You can either tell me what 
you now over a glass of wine or over your own charbroiled corpse. Your choice. Everybody and I me this episode. Whoa. Damn! I already had, huh? What is going on? I work here. Damn. What did I do? Oh, you did this. It's me. Only me. And I got this call offering me a hundred grand. Who hired you? Shot it, Richard. Shot and your sister. Maybe Ava's death was a warning. For me to keep my mouth shut. Maybe if I don't say anything. How do we find mom? Follow the trail of roasted humans? Well, if anyone can find that wily goddess, it's Mays. She's on it. We found a body. Another body? A burned head. Same burned head? Yes. So I... what, you think you ever killed Chet killed again? Look, Lucifer, it's a long story. But the second victim is Ava Lyon. She's one of the cleaners we met. She's scared, so I need you to come here. And I need you to do your mojo thing. Believe me when I say I want to find the killer. Everybody and I mean this episode. Hello, boys. Oh, hey, mama. mama. What? What? What's going on? I, I, I'm so sorry. My mum's here. I, I've got a rush. What's wrong? Lucifer, he's... He's hiding something from me, I can tell. So it's probably just embarrassing family stuff. I mean, they seem totally bonkers. Yeah. Uh-oh. So maybe, maybe he's not hiding something from me. But someone... Someone who knew Chet... And someone I still don't trust. Oh, here we go. What have you been doing? Oh, this and that. This oh, what's Dr. Linda? Firing up the celestial barbecue so that you can grill another head. Don't you just hate being kept in the dark? Oh, Lord, here we go. We have this? Yes. Yes, well, interesting story, actually. Why don't you tell her, brother? Oh, no, 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 no. This one's all you. No, 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 me, no, no. Grow some balls and say something. Uh, upon careful consideration, we've decided this whole flaming sword plan is a crap idea. Yes, crap. Hmm. Have you ever considered finding, well, I don't know, a, pl a place of your own? Somewhere familiar, warmer, perhaps? Hell? You what? You okay, I was thinking the same thing. In hell, per se, but in charge of hell. Beige? Yeah, to our idiots. Yeah. So it's true. You are working against me. Uh uh. You never planned on going with me to heaven. Wait, how did you find out? Well, I persuaded your little doctor. I'm sorry. I had no choice. Oh, God. You do. Oh, shit. Um, shit, she's strong. She's strong as hell. Oh, Jesus. I'm not. Angry. Disappointed. Just disappointed. Of course, that's our parents' line. <laughs> Damn! Give me the peace. No, mom. Yeah, she's gonna kill you, middle dude. You're gonna have to kill me. Oh, she's gonna do it too. Guess I'll have to find another way, won't I? Oh, okay, okay. I thought she was actually gonna do it. I was wrong. Well, now look what you've made it do. How about you suggesting hell? Yeah. Retirement home. Nice. Yeah, that was bad. Even if you had just mentioned the pottery class or water aerobics, she would have gone for it. Oh, and did you have a better idea? Mom's coming undone, Lucy. In every way. I know, and she yep. doesn't care if she hurts anymore. Linda. I'll go check on Linda. You go after Mom. She'll listen to you. See, don't you dare promise her that piece because I won't give it to her. I'm so annoyed. Oh lord, they got kids here. They got kids here. Please. Well, well, someone's clever. I mean, how did you figure out I was the bad guy? Did little Miss Dandelion tell you? It's over, Charlotte. Put your hands up. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to resist. I'll tell you everything you want to know. I just have one small request. Detective, uh, any chance you see my mom? Looking for little old me? You were right, dear. Your detective is quite good. Oh my God, Mom! She got me. Where are you? Santa Monica's here. It's such a beautiful place. So many people. If you hurt her, and if you and your brother just give me what I need, but who knows? Maybe 
You still can. Start talking. Just the two of us, if that's all right. I'd rather not put Daniel in an awkward position. Oh god. Well, at least you care for Daniel, we'll but damn. I'll be fine. No, you won't. No, you won't, Chloe. Oh damn. I miss you, Daniel. You were my favorite human. Damn. That's that's terrifying. I'm sorry, that is terrifying. You find mom? She's on Santa Monica Pier and she wants the peace. <laughs> Brother, please. She She has Chloe. Oh Lord. Linda, you here? Oh, oh Jesus. Dr. Linda. Dr. Linda. No, Dr. No, Linda. Yeah, kill Linda, I'll kill ya. Linda. It's okay, I'm here. I don't like mom. It'll be fine. J she did this to you, didn't she? I tried to resist. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. Okay, and you're going to be fine. Fuck I'm mom. Gonna Fuck mom. Mom could go to hell for all I care. This is what your flip flopping did. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you kissed me. Literally no idea what you're talking about. Just get your hands up. No, no, don't be silly. I'm not gonna stab you. I'm just looking for something. What are you looking for? It, it ding it. What the hell? What? Child, nobody going for your dick. My brothers, he left it there for safekeeping. So thanks for that. Your lifesaver. He hit him with the sword. Great chat, but are you gonna confess or what? Fine. Yes, I was involved in Chet's death, but not in the way you think. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. You killed him. You hired a cleaner to take care of the body, and then you killed the cleaner. Is that it? The cleaner's dead. Huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Huh? Really had nothing to do with that. But if you didn't, then who did? Mom. I've got it! You can't protect your mother anymore. I'm not protecting her. It's you I'm trying to save. Now, here it is, Mum. I have the blade and the final piece. You let the detective go, and they are yours. Let me go? Really? I'm the one holding her. No one's going anywhere! Oh, I think we found our mystery killer. How the can brother? You so Put the gun down, Hector. Thank you but, for leading but, me to but, her, detective. You uh, how the cleaner died. And you did. But now I have to make things right for my family. Any hospital. Yes. Okay. It's too far, Alex. Son of a bitch. We need to do something. We need more time. We just need more time. What are you doing? Look, it's very difficult to explain, but believe me when I say that there are many, many lives at stake here. So please, just put the gun down. <laughs> put the gun down. Oh, he gonna shoot her. Oh, Lord, Dan. Is it slowing down? Okay, who is doing this? Who is doing this? Explain. Explanation, please. Is it? Oh, he is. Go. It's everywhere, though. Wow. Oh, wow. But I'm afraid that this ends now. Yep. You've hurt so many people, Mum. It has to stop. You know that everything I've done, I've done for, for us, for our family. You used me. Used Chloe. Me? What about your father? And look, we have the sword. Finally. Finally, we can get revenge. We can just. Oh Lord, where is this episode going? I'm not leaving, Mom. I can take care of it for both of us. Just 
give me the sword. Please, I just... I just want a chance to start over. Well, go to another galaxy then. Going home? That's not starting over. It's going backwards. Yeah, go to the galaxy. Rule there. And that's not good for anyone. Destroy that fire. Um, so please, and let's go move on from mom. So it's time for you to move forward, mom. Even if it means I'll never see you again. Oh, you and kill your mom. I didn't see that. No. Oh, I was like. Bloody hell, it worked. Where is that? Somewhere, galaxy. There's nothing. Go there. At least for now. Go make this you the goddess. The real way yeah, you're a goddess. Forward, create man. something. To create a whole new world, your own world without father. Yep. What about you? He happy here. Yeah. Your children, they don't know you. You know that if we go back to heaven, then there will be a war. And your children and will die. War, there are always casualties. Amen. The last thing I want is to hurt my children. But you always do it. So leave. Do do the one good. So please. Leave. Let there be light. Oh wow. My angel. I miss you. My mom. So much. Don't give a damn what you do in your life. I will march down an empty tree. I will tear down air. I will burn me a seat when there's no one there to try to Okay, at least, yeah, get rid of that. Dr. Linda Bear survived. I'm mad as hell. Man, deal. don't piss me off. I'm sorry, Daniel, she didn't <coughs> die. Mom? Oh, she got back to life. Mom. My kids are 10. Right. Of course. What's going on? Why am I at the beach? You fell off the pier. I fell off. It's okay, I got you. Hey, amnesia? Well, technically not amnesia, but... What do you think will happen to Charlotte? Well, given our law firm's track record, probably not much. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think that Hector killed both victims. Well, you think he killed his own brother? I think he would be the first to agree. You know, things between families can get pretty heated. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how you replicated oh, that burn head. Okay, thank you for answering yeah. that question. Right. Why didn't you let me in on it? Well, you... Because at this point, you either trust me or you don't. Detective, I trust you. If you think that I don't know who you really are by now, you're wrong. Uh, no, you're wrong. Oh, thank God. Linda go ask to never see y'all again. I'm okay. This is my fault. I'm, I should never have got you involved in any of this from the start. It's not like I didn't know I was dealing with the most powerful, well, the most dysfunctional family in the universe. Lucifer. I walked into this with my eyes wide open. Chose to be your friend. Face all that comes with that. Good. Dr. Linda, you're a real one. Oh, it's Dr. Linda that actually said the title. Okay. What? Is mom gone? I just realized something that I need to do. Eh? But let's focus on you, shall we? That's enough about me. He had the glasses. Hello, it's me. Lucy. I also wanted to say that I am done hiding. So I'm coming over now to tell you the truth about me. Huh? Because I think it's time I finally opened your eyes. Oh my God. Strange things sometimes happen around me. Why my brother's so saintly and Maze is so not. not. <laughs> and I'm so, well, magnetic. Yeah, that's what you describe yourself? No, seriously, I, I want to tell you everything. 
Uh, be a fence. I know how this going to end. What? What? I'm so confused. Who hit Lucifer? Bitch, he got his wings. What on God's green earth is going on here? Why this season finales? I always add more questions. Huh? Why? Why do we have to pile on the questions upon questions? <sighs> but the witch is, the witch is dead. She gone. Mom is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry. There's no way in the comments y'all could, could, could make what mom did logical to me that I shouldn't have, I should have sympathy for her. She put, she heard Dr. Linda. Nah, she, nah. I'm thank God mom gone. Bye mom. Make your own universe. Make your own cheering. Yeah. Bye bye. Good. We got rid of you. Now, who hit Lucifer? Who hit Lucifer? Who whacked Lucifer? How? It gotta be an angel. Because ain't no way you could hit Lucifer and Lucifer was no way around Chloe. So he wasn't immortal. He was immortal. He was immortal in that point. So, 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 so. Things shouldn't hurt him when he's not around Chloe. But he got whacked. He got knocked out. And he was put in the desert. No. He couldn't be in that desert for j with the, the, the sunburn, with the lips. He could not have been there for just one day. That gotta be a couple days. Maybe even weeks. And he has his wings back. Explain to me how he got his wings back. He cut off his wings. What is going on? I am stressed. I am absolutely stressed. I have a headache, actually. <laughs> this episode, everybody annoyed me. For the exception of Dr. Linda and Chloe and Maze. Lucifer didn't really annoy me, but... A middle deal is so annoying. I need y'all, next season, to make a middle deal pick a side it's like it's whoever now that mom's out the way let him be on dad's side 24 7 because this man flip-flop this whole season this whole season he flip-flop it's whichever parent gave him attention he was with so if mom gave him attention he was inside team mom if dad gave him attention he team dad good god almighty he was a minute annoying me throughout this whole season. This whole season he was annoying. So I need in season three, y'all make him have a backbone. Y'all seem like y'all giving him back his power because I didn't realize that his time thing was so widespread. I thought he was just slowing time wherever he was. He, he did all the way to pair. So I'm sure Dr. Linda's office and the pair is it's far away from each other so the fact that all that was affected is amazing didn't care for the case i felt like it was a little couple but and charlotte has come back to life i wonder if she came back to life because she had the goddess in her so once the goddess left she healed the body maybe not intentionally but accidentally but she could, i guess when you have um amnesia in her says it's amnesia, even though it's not. It's amnesia. You can't really prosecute her for anything. And then he, uh, the son had all the weapons that links him, ties in, ties that case up nicely. But now we're going to have this situation again. Where Lucifer disappears and Chloe once again feels abandoned. It, is this going to be a running team? Now, you did that um, earlier this season. Now, you ended the season the same way, where Lucifer disappears and comes back. Is, is that going to be a running team between Lucifer and Chloe now? Is, is that what we're doing? Oh, Chad. I must say, guys, season two was far superior to season one. 
in writing, in the storytelling, in the characters. They, I love that, for the exception of maybe Lucifer and Amina Deal, everyone had a character growth, and you saw the growth. And the reason I exclude Lucifer is because, again, Lucifer always get a character growth, then goes backwards in the next episode. So, I don't ever consider Lucifer has growth. Do, though, I commend him for apologizing to Linda. Yes, he made his jokes, but that's Lucifer. Lucifer will always make jokes and then try to just clear the tension. But I love the fact that he apologized to her for bringing her into this situation. And Dr. Linda is a real one. My girl said, I knew I didn't come into this relationship blind. I, I knew that when I'm dealing with celestial beings, I might have been hurt. No, they, I'm thank God Charlotte gone because if Charlotte had come back in season three, it would have been me and rants with Charlotte. All, all discussion would be me just ranting against Charlotte. So I'm glad they got rid of her. But the actress did an amazing job with mom. The mom, the, she 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 brought mom to life. Just in, I, cause you know what's funny? I liked mom in the beginning, and then, oh, she just I just wanted to strangle her afterwards. A middle deal is just, I need them to fix a middle deal in season three i need him to have a purpose i need him to actually stick at the side i need him to actually be loyal to people and not flip flop every time something good comes his way so i'm hoping next season we get some character development with a middle deal i don't know what is going to happen with chloe and um um lucifer and then of course with lucifer going missing I don't know how his relationship with Maze is going to be like because we know there's some abandonment issues between those two so it's going to be wild seeing what happens but season two definitely better than season one I enjoyed the season yes I know I had my rants against mom but in terms of writing and story wise and storytelling this was a far superior uh, season two season one so I'm in, I'm hyped for season three what season three is going to give us because y'all need to explain how someone was able to knock Lucifer out and then his wings is back. Let me tell you something. If a melody was the one that 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 knocked Lucifer out, I'm a, me and a melody gonna follow for good. For good. For good. And I wonder if Dan and Charlie is gonna get together. That'd be interesting. But with that being said, guys, we've come to the end of season two. We end in season two. Season finale was fire. Yes, people annoy me, but in terms of storytelling, season two finale was good. But with that being said, if you enjoyed my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, remember a like, a sub, a share, a comment goes a long way in expanding this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in season three. Three. Bye.